Hi, the objective of this video is to show you how to optimize your search strategy in Companix. It was created for the students of the CAP 7005E workshop, but it can be useful for anyone who would like to learn more about optimizing a strategy in Companix. I will do the demonstration based on the information need, that is the modeling of the accumulation of ice, so we have our concept of ice, on an aerodynamic profile here. So that was the basic strategy developed based on that information need. A small recall of the basic parameters of the expert search. So if you need more information on that, please look at our other video in the library's YouTube channel. So here you choose only one database at a time. You can choose the date, so last 10 years. Here, it's quite important when you want to uh, analyze the relevance to sort by date, because if you sort by relevance, all the first couple of articles will look good to you, but that's not what we want. So we want you to be able to analyze for yourself if the articles are good or not, and then this will allow you to improve and optimize your search strategy. You also want the auto-stemming to be off. So once you have all of that, to do the analysis, you need to open some articles. So you want to do the relevance assessment based on different articles. So what I do is I open in different tab just to make the navigation easier so I can easily come back to my uh, initial strategy. So I open them all. Uh, usually I suggest to do the relevance assessment on the first hundred of articles that were found, but uh, also often just on the first page in the first 10, 15, you can already start to improve your strategy because you will see that some things are not working or you're missing some keywords and so on. So once you open in the different tab here, you go look at them. And you look at the ones, and as you saw, I did not even look at the title to start because you need to look at the articles that look useful, that look promising based on the title. And this will help you to maybe add some more keywords to your strategy. But you also need to look at the articles that are not useful because you will find why were they found and could is there a possibility to improve your strategy that they are not found. So maybe some words are out of context or you're missing um, certain parameters or something like that. So you have to watch to look at both uh, types of articles. So for this one here, um, there it seems to be somewhat on topic. It talks about when, about uh, simulation, but it's uh, for the second con uh, the first concept. It's really the aircraft that kinds of come up. Yes, it talks about aerodynamic as well, but it's mostly on aircraft. So maybe you can decide that was too broad. So you can come back here and you can uh, play around with your keywords. So for the first one, the the specific need was actually even on the, the blade of windmill, so we decided to expand it. But maybe you can say, oh, it's too many results, so you can remove keywords. You could add some as well if you see that you're missing some. So I'm going to remove all the keywords that are uh, about airplanes. So I remove that and I search again. So we can see that uh, there is about six, seven hundreds less records. What you have to be careful when you do that, you, ha you, you have to make sure that whatever was removed is not useful to you. So you can go to search history, you click on view all results, and then you can do one and remove the other set that was here. So here I'm going to do number, oops, number one, not number two. So when I do that, I'm going to be left with the all the articles that talk about aircraft or airplane and the other words that were used. So you see here aircraft um, and so on. So you should go through some of those and make sure that they are not useful to you. So if you go through the first couple of pages, again, maybe 20, 30, 40 records that are sorted by uh, date here, and you don't find anything useful to you, then it was probably good to remove the words related specifically to aircraft. If in the first couple of pages you find that half or some of them are useful to you, then maybe you should keep uh, the words related to aircraft. So when it's your own subject, you need to test the keywords that you either add or remove like that. So with the search history, 
and you can uh, combine or compare the sets uh, like that to make sure that when you decide to change the words then it doesn't remove something that was useful for you let's say we decided no i don't want that i don't uh, i want to keep the the uh, the words related to aircraft so you can come back here and come back to your initial uh, strategy that was the 3.2 thousand records you can also test in this way your truncation so we see here that with rhyme we did not put a truncation so you could try and add a truncation search and see does it add a lot of results are these results useful so we did the test it is not useful to add this truncation here so you can uh, try anything you want with your strategy and it's always easy to come back to the initial one if the change that you added is not something you want so let's come back to the tabs that we opened at the beginning so if we look at the second one here, we can see that, uh, yes, it talks about ice, but the, our first concept, which was of wind machine, is actually not kept. So yes, it talks about, about machine, but about wind much later here. So, to, uh, so that doesn't happen. We're going to come back here and we're going to use exact expression. So we're going to use, and to do that, it's quotation mark. So around wind turbine, I'm going to put a quotation mark like that all right um let me just make sure yeah i don't have it exactly yeah so it, it needs to be uh, right beside the word so these word will be searched together a uh, little quirks of compendex and uh, inspect you cannot actually you can put the truncation but it will just not be taken into account and the database will not even tell you so you should not do it so you remove the truncation here so now we only uh, we don't have the plural so we need to add the plural so or when turbines with the s so i added all the quotation mark with machine and then when machines plural and i did uh, for all the other words that i wanted to search as exact expression and then we search. So usually when you add exact expression, it will bring the numbers down. And yes, it does it here. So about again, 600 less records. You could all again, go look through them and then try to see what was the difference between the previous results and those. But here with uh, these quotation mark, I'm pretty confident that it's something that is really useful for us because it will focus the search. Let's go back to the articles that we opened at first. So the third one, if we look through it, we can see, well, not a lot of yellow, not a lot of highlighting. So our keywords are not found often. And actually some of them are not found where there is scientific content. So we can see that the idea of modeling is found in the author affiliation and our concept uh, of aerodynamic profile with the word wing is actually found in the names of the author so that is not useful to us so this does not happen we're going to use the uh, field so we're going to search on specific places in the reference of the article so under search code you can explore some of them but the one i want to put forward is the keyword field here which will search in the subject title and abstract so let's go back to the reference so we'll want to search only in this part here the title in the abstract here and the subject is this part here with the main heading and the different terms that were added to the document so it will not search for the names for the affiliation for the funding text here which is not really useful as scientific content goes the way to do that we come back to our strategy and after each concept we're going to add w n k y so within keywords we do that for the second one w n q y and the last one so within keyword and then you search again this will specify the search it should remove some results that were not useful because our keywords were not found where we found scientific content in the article yes so it removed some articles again and the last thing I want to put forward is the controlled vocabulary here. So if you click on view more, 
this can help you to find new articles, uh, no, new keywords to add in your strategy. So if you're struggling to find keywords that can be useful to you, you can look there and those are words that were added to the different articles that have come up in your in the strategy that you're using now. So you can look at those. You can also use those two buttons here, So the but the limit will very much limit the search. So if you click in one and uh, specifically, if there is a keywords here that you find that is completely irrelevant, but really, really uh, completely out of scope from your own research, then you could exclude it as well here. So all of these will help you to get a better strategy. And in the end, the idea is to retrieve more useful article than uh, your original strategy. Also to find as many relevant articles as possible and to not find the one that are not useful for you, but also to not miss anything that is important to your research field. Uh, these can vary a little bit depending on the time that you have. So if you have all the time in the world, uh, maybe it's not as useful to remove everything that is uh, not relevant to you because you have time to sift through all of them. If you're uh, a, bit, a bit more stressed for time, you say, I need uh, 10 good articles for next week, then maybe you will try to be more precise and say, um, I want the ones that are really per uh, pertinent and relevant to what I'm uh, what I'm doing. So these can vary a little bit, but in general, these uh, are why we uh, ask you to optimize a search strategy. Also, depending on where you start started, the optimized strategy might uh, retrieve more results. So if you start with a very specific strategy and you are you missed many keywords, you did not you forgot to include some of them. Uh, maybe you will retrieve more articles with your uh, optimized strategy or as the example that we did here, sometimes you started too broad and in the end you will get less result, but that it will be more related to your research topic. So I hope this video will help you to optimize your search strategy. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact your teaching librarian.